So if the, uh, the count of the levels on a unit is greater than or equal to four, then it will allow this button, it will allow this whatever to, it to exist. It'll allow our learn snipe to exist. So now we have to go back to our learn abilities, double click info, and click on learn to scroll all the way down and find the requirements thing here. And mine's bugged out, so I need to do this every time. Double click three and then click back to buttons. And anyways, under ability here, um, let's actually just search for lev, leva. There we go. Requires level four and press OK. So now that ability, that uh, learn sniper attack or whatever, learn ghost snipe will require level four. Okay. So now we've got this all done, but our unit can't see any of this. So we need to go back to our units tab and find our zealot. And now, sorry, I was just browsing my notes. Uh, now we need to go to abilities and uh, make it add a new one, with green X. Um, and then under the abilities drop down list, let's pick uh, what's it called again? Learn, learn abilities. And then we also need to add stalker blink because that was the first ability we made back a while ago. And then we also need to add uh, ghost sniper. All right. And then go double click on command card or press OK and then go to command card, I mean. Um, so uh, let's start right here. So right here is going to be like, as we had, as everyone remembers from Warcraft 3, your learn button was always here. So it's just natural to put it here. So press this green X and find the little thing there, the learn abilities button and make it a bit, actually make it sub menu, the command type, no requirements, command card two and learn ability, learn abilities. So it automatically knows that we have a learn ability um, if we put this here, which is great. And then here on the first bottom left spot of the command card, let's add a button and let's add blink. Oops, let's add the actual blink ability, a command type ability command, ability is going to be stalker blink and ability command blink. So this will be blink, but it won't actually show until we learn it, which is just um, a good thing, a feature of learn abilities. And we also need to add our sniper attack, which is under Terran somewhere. Oh, nice, that icon. Sniper round, I mean. And then command type, uh, ability command, ability is ghost sniper and ability command sniper round. So these are here, but they won't show until we actually learn it, which is good. So now we need to go to command card two. Uh, we need to add a cancel button. Otherwise you won't be able to get out of here. So I'll just pick one of the cancel icons, ability type, cancel submenu. That's all we need. I mean, command type. And then in the top left, let's make our learn, uh, learn blink. And if you noticed, I forgot to change the icon of learn snipe, but not a big deal. You can change it. Um, it's just going to be confusing later, but whatever. And make this an ability command of command type. And then the actual ability is going to be learn abilities and then learn blink. And then the second one here, let's make a new second button. Let's make a new, let's make it learn snipe ability command ability is learn abilities. And this one is going to be learn snipe. So now your guy can learn blink and learn snipe. And then you can cast them back in here in command card one when he has them. Um, and now let's see. I think we're pretty much good to go. So I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go in game and test. And we're going to see all of the potential bugs that I racked up over the course of this tutorial. Okay. Um, so ignore this. Just click return to game. And find your hero who happens to be killing stuff. But anyways, we see we have zero agility, zero strength. Uh, we're level zero. We got some experience because my guy just happened to be killing stuff. Um, and we have one ability we can learn. So let's learn. Can't learn snipe because it requires levels four. And it's kind of ugly the way it puts the requirements in there. But um, I'll show you how you can rename that after. But it still can't be fully customized, but it can be pretty customized. The dash levels and then the four there. But anyways, let's learn blink. So our guy can blink. And let's attack some zerglings. And you saw a little stalker... Uh, pop up. That's just an actor related issue. I think uh, see so you see the stalker right there for a second. Um, anyway, so we're level two now, so I can actually get blink and blink again. Uh, so now I have blink level three and let's actually watch how fast I can teleport. 
Yeah, it's getting pretty fast now. Let's get Blink level 4. And you can see it automatically puts level 4 there. And as you can see, as I've been leveling, agility has been going up. And I, my damage has been going up because of that. Because we modified the attribute to do damage unscaled plus 1 or whatever. And at the same time, strength has been going up. And I believe my HP has been going up. So let me Blink here. And let's see. Yeah, my HP is going up as well. And if I get the final level of Blink here, uh, I can pretty much Blink around the map really fast. Um, and as well, because I hit level 4 earlier, I can now learn Snipe. So I can Snipe uh, snipe this guy here. Which looks really weird, but uh, it's kind of cool. And I'm just going to Blink around and do some Sniping. And anyways, that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show with this tutorial. But I'm just going to go back in the editor and show... Um, how to do the, how to change this, oops, it's not there anymore, how to change the requirements thing for this. And by the way, it's they don't appear here anymore because we did check that flag off in the editor about uh, hide maximum level. So anyways, I'm going back in the editor now. Um, so back here, uh, let's see, in our requirements, go to requirements tab in the data editor. Uh, our requires level 4, click on there. Um, what you could do to, is change, write something in the tooltip here, so you could say requires hero level colon and then in constant 4 you just put the 4 so now it looks a little bit nicer in game and press OK and save and that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, I might do an items tutorial and more of a full complete hero tutorial but even just setting up this kind of a hero um, with with abilities that are already in the game took 27 minutes so um, so it's pretty time consuming, but um, as soon as I actually figure out items, I'll probably do a tutorial on it. Um, aside from that, I hope this helps, and uh, the map will be available for download in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, and I just wanted to mention one more bit um, that I failed to mention in the actual recording of the tutorial. Um, the requirements, um, you can do more stuff with them, like uh, if everybody remembers in Warcraft 3, when you trained an ability, you couldn't train it until a, another two levels. Um, so there was kind of a gap, so you couldn't just retrain an ability level after level after level. And I actually spent a while trying to figure out how to do that through requirements, and it looked like I would have to do a requirement for every ability. Um, and that I didn't, I didn't feel like doing that, so I didn't show it in this tutorial, but I believe that's how you would do it. And because right now there's no way to just say, disable this learning ability for another three levels once it's learned, so you can only get it every three levels. Um, it's not just that easy, I guess. It might be in the future, but for now, um, you'd have to do some tricky requirements to determine what the hero level is and what, how many uh, ranks of the ability they have, and to block it every three levels to do that kind of thing. But anyways, I just wanted to mention that so people know that I have indeed thought about that and uh, just wasn't successful in that area.